Welcome back to a, another Lululemon haul. Today is a very exciting video because I have brand new items, but like a brand new item that Lululemon came out with. They came out with footwear for the first time. We'll get into it. I'll give you all the details, the ones that are launching, when they're launching, how they fit, how they feel, their intent when they were designed, and also a little sneak of some other ones coming in the summer. But without further ado, we're gonna get right on into this. I have a lot of items that you asked me to try on my Closet by Kel account and on my main Instagram, Kaylin Yeager. So let's get into it. Thank you, Lululemon, for sponsoring this video. I enjoy these. I know you guys enjoy these. So let's get into it, starting with tops. First item up is one that I've reviewed many, many times. It's a fan favorite. It's been around for a long time. And that is the free to be wild. You'll notice I tried to get a bunch of items and colors that match the shoes because I did have a lot of people asking, like they liked the color shoes that I got that you're gonna see here shortly, but asked like how I would pair outfits with them. So I tried to not only get items that you wanted to see and in colors you wanted to see, but also colors that I thought would match well with the shoes. So free to be wild bra, I have always been a size six in their bras. I'm still a size six pregnant, I guess I should mention, even though it's pretty obvious now, I am 25 weeks pregnant. So there are a couple items in this try-on that I don't love now, but I know I would have liked them pre-pregnancy and will love them post-pregnancy, so I'm gonna keep them. I just don't see myself wearing them until after the baby's here. For those of you who have watched multiple try-ons, even just one other try-on, you've probably heard me say that I love pastel colors, AKA the spring is my favorite. And I just so happened to get the like spring colored shoes. So this is the silver blue color in the Free To Be Wild. I love it because it's still that like pastel feel, but I feel like it's also still really neutral. So it pairs really well with a lot of items. This is a lower support bra. However, this is still my go-to workout bra because I'm not a fan of ones that have like the thicker band at the bottom. They dig in, they're a little too compressive for me. I personally just don't prefer a really tight compressive fit. I know if you're bustier, you might prefer a little bit more compression. This still offers me enough coverage, enough support during my workouts, whether that's a circuit, walking, just lifting. So this is still my go-to in a size six, true size, absolutely love it. Next up, we have the Ebb to Street tank top. I'm loving all the full length items right now between the Ebb to Street tank top and the cool racer back Nulu full length. Those are just perfect for the belly right now. I normally am a fan of like all things cropped, but you'll see the one item that I mentioned earlier. Some of the cropped, cropped items just look a little interesting right now because it's like, is your stomach meant to be showing or is it just the belly? So I'm loving the full length items and the Ebb to Street tank top is really nice because it actually has the built-in bra. It is a B to C support, so it offers a good amount of support. Also a good amount of coverage. The top definitely comes up a little bit higher than like the Align Tank and other less supportive tops like that. Has the just really simple back going on and then it is the seamless construction. So any of the Ebb to Street items, they have the Ebb to Street bra and tank top. They have a long sleeve crop top. Very cute, very cute. Once again, looks a little interesting with the bump right now, um, but pre-pregnancy and post-pregnancy, love it. Currently, full-length tank tops, yes, and I've just always been a big fan of tops that are a one-stop shop, AKA they have the sports bra and the tank top, so you don't have to worry about layering. There's not like one thing digging in or things moving around. It's just all one piece, all attached, put it on, good to go. Super nice. And this would be really easy to layer underneath literally any sweatshirt. I had this underneath the Delicate Mint Scuba half zip yesterday at a photo shoot. Very cute. I'm a size six in all tops, but especially the ones that have the built-in sports bras go off of your sports bra size. That's what's really gonna determine if the top's gonna fit you how you like it and if you're gonna be comfortable in it. But I thought this dew pink was really cute and definitely matches the shoes really well. 
Next item up is one that I have never tried before. I was really excited because this color is beautiful, pastel, right up my alley. It is the Classic Fit Cotton Blend Tank. It is a waist length, just a classic fit. It is a little bit more oversized, so it's not gonna be like clung to you like the last tank top I showed you, but it has the high neck and just overall a very basic tank top that I think would be easy to throw on with some like casual shorts to just wear this day to day or wearing it to and from the gym. I personally work out in sports bras a lot because I tend to get very hot in the middle of my workouts. Um, so this would be a perfect layering item going to the gym um, or like warming up in and then taking it off. But it's nice and stretchy. Once again, love the color. It's softer than I thought it was gonna be whenever I see cotton, I just assume it's gonna be a little bit heavy, like a, a softer, heavy material. This is definitely like a stretchier, soft, lighter weight material, which is obviously perfect for this time of year. So I think this is gonna be perfect for the spring and summer and just overall very comfortable. I actually was still comfortable and felt like confident in this, even with the bump right now, because it is waist length rather than being like really cropped. So I will still wear this throughout this spring and this summer, but I think this would be good, obviously. If you're not pregnant, it will just give you a little bit more length than it does on me. Size six fit really well because it is a classic fit. I wouldn't recommend sizing up in it unless you like things to be really oversized. Really true to size and once again, nice and stretchy and just overall, I think a great fit in the color, yes. Next item up is the Train to BT. This is one of the items that I absolutely love. I think I will love it after I deliver, but right now I just feel like with the way that the front is cut, it just, it literally looked like there was a keyhole for my belly button and I just wasn't feeling that. But I, once again, feel like post-pregnancy, I will absolutely love this. Um, it is a seamless construction. It's super lightweight, really, really stretchy. So this would be perfect for training in or once again, wearing like warming up in and then taking off if you're someone who works out in sports bras a lot like I do. But it's longer in the back, has that little arch in the front. So it is a little bit shorter in the front. That's why it didn't necessarily work for me right now. Um, I am gonna be keeping this because the color, obviously I love it. And I think the pattern's really cute. Nice and subtle still, matches those shoes perfect. And I just love how lightweight and breathable it is. So I was a big fan of this, just not in my current state. Um, but the size six fit really well. It is a little bit of a tighter fit than the other tank top I showed you. It's a little tighter through the arms, but still not overly tight. So you still have room for it to flow around a little bit. Next item up is an oldie but a goodie. I have a very similar color to this from probably six years ago and I've worn it so much that I figured it was time to get a new one. And going back to what I said earlier, I'm loving the full length items. So the Swiftly Tech Long Sleeve 2.0 was definitely on my list for items for this try on and to match the shoes because I think this is the perfect running long sleeve, especially in the spring. If you're running in the morning when it's still kind of cold before it warms up or in the evenings, or honestly right now, even during the day, cause it's still not that warm. This is a tighter fit. So I know a lot of people have just personal preference on fit with this. So some people stick with their true size. Other people like them really tight and size down. Other people like more room, so they'll size up. I have personally always just stuck with my true size. So I wear a size six in these. I have plenty of length in the arms. I do have long limbs. So if you are shorter or have shorter arms, it, this will be just fine. You'll probably just have a little bit more material on the arms, but it has the really comfortable thumb hole, which they updated, um, not super recently, but I love this thumb hole a lot more. It kind of just overlaps rather than there being a specific hole. So it offers you a little bit more mobility and it doesn't dig in anywhere. Swiftly's are an item they've had around for a long time. They have these in race length now, in the tank top t-shirt and in the long sleeve. I normally prefer the race length, but once again, with the bump, I really prefer the extra coverage. So I think it's awesome that they offer both lengths. Because all of the leggings are high-waisted now, I feel like the race length hits at the perfect spot to where it's not like too long or like accentuating that where the high waistband is. It just kind of falls right at the stitching, which is like perfect. So you don't have any skin showing. You're still fully covered. It's just a really flattering fit. Also kind of like elongates your legs. 
Who doesn't love that? Size six in the dupe pink, absolutely love. I think this is really cute in general, but specifically paired with the Bliss Feel shoes in the color that I have. Next item up, I actually have a lot of favorites in this haul, but this was brand new to me and is definitely one of my favorites. I wore this yesterday in the photo shoot as well, and I kept it on after because I loved it and it was perfect for the windy, spring weather we're having right now. It is the Stretch Ripstop Run Half Zip. So cute, so lightweight. I'm a big fan of all of their spring jackets and like windbreakers. They always seem to do a really good job, have a really flattering fit. They have this big vented area along the whole midsection, which is obviously where you tend to sweat a lot. So that's really nice. This obviously comes up, but it does stay in place really well while you're just wearing it around. It has the draw cord so you can cinch around the waist if you want to to help kind of give it a little bit more shape rather than letting it be a relaxed fit. It has the reflective detail, has this big kangaroo pocket right here which is really nice and then you actually have these pockets right here if you need to store anything else while you're on your outdoor run or if you're like me and you don't run just wearing it around because it's really cute and wearing it to and from the gym. And then obviously it has this zip on there. It doesn't have a hood, which I personally like. I feel like if you're gonna be running in a jacket like this, you wouldn't necessarily want a hood bouncing around. I thought this was a 10 out of 10 win. It has the cinch cuffs on the arms. And the one thing when you straighten them, this doesn't bother me with jackets like this, but when I straightened it, it was a little bit short, not anything that I'm like concerned about or it would bother me enough to where I wouldn't wear it. But it's a really soft material, which sometimes windbreakers can be a little bit more stiff. This is softer and has a little bit more stretch. And then it actually has, I don't know how well you can see, these little like laser cut hole details. Maybe if I do that, are you able to see them? So lots of little details that I think definitely make this jacket worth it. Very cute, very comfortable, love the draw cord and I love all of the pockets and just how lightweight it is and actually soft on your skin rather than that like scratchy windbreaker material. So size six fit really well. I do believe they have these in some other colors. You'll have already seen those on the screen by now, but this is definitely one of my new favorites and one of my favorites from this haul. I love it. Moving on to dresses, I actually have two different dresses to show you. I tried a dress in the last video as well, and I was pleasantly surprised. So when you guys said you wanted me to try more dresses, I was like, you know what? It's going well with the belly right now, and they've all turned out, I think, being cuter in person than they look online. So we're gonna start with the Classic Fit Cotton blend dress. So this is basically the dress version of the cotton blend tank top I tried. Same material, nice and lightweight, stretchy. I just feel like this is the perfect spring summer dress. It fits really well as a maternity dress. I know it's not intended for that. It's definitely a little bit shorter, but I don't think it's too short to wear. Um, I just got a size six because that's my true size and I thought this was so flattering, especially in the raw linen color. I just paired it with little white sneakers and I thought it was super cute. That is gonna be like my go-to look throughout the rest of my pregnancy as it gets hotter and my bump keeps growing. Just some comfy shoes, comfy dress, one-stop shop, gotta love it. I think it's really flattering on all bodies because it's not a bodycon dress, but it has enough shape to it to wear I think it still looks really flattering and shows off some of your curves just without being that like super sleek, tight fit. Um, and I would recommend staying true to size. Next one up is the back in action long sleeve dress. I have the back in action t-shirt, the back in action long sleeve, and now the back in action long sleeve dress. Once again, paired super cute with just white sneakers or if you wanted to wear just little flip flops with it. but. Same thing, I think this is really good for going from spring to summer on the cooler evenings or if, specifically for me, if we're going out on a date night and I don't feel like trying to find bottoms that fit and don't cut in and are comfortable enough, this. This is gonna be my go-to because it's also an above the knee fit 
it hits right above the knee and it is longer in the back. So this one is definitely, like this will for sure fit me all the way through my pregnancy, which is really nice. The other one, as my bump gets bigger, it might get a little bit too short in the front, but because this has longer length and then especially in the back, it has that scoop to it. I think this will fit perfect all the way through and is still really cute pre-pregnancy, post-pregnancy. So love this. I always love the neckline on the back in action items. I just think it's really flattering. You see a little collarbone, but you still have enough coverage to wear. You don't have to worry about cleavage or anything like that. And it's just that really soft, cottony, stretchy fit. So highly recommend these. I love the long sleeves. I think they're so cute. Like the dress is really cute, but if you haven't tried the back in action long sleeves, they're amazing. They have some in the Nulu material and we all know I love Nulu, the aligned pant material, very buttery soft, very comfortable. Um, but this dress was definitely a win. Moving on to the item, a lot of you are probably the most excited about hearing and seeing the Bliss Feel shoe. Lululemon's first tennis shoe that they're launching. This is the running shoe. They will have slides and some lifting shoes and a, I think two other shoes. I'll have them listed on the screen for you. Those will be coming later in the season throughout the summer. But first up, we have the Bliss Feel shoes, which these aren't looking like super new because I obviously wanted to test them out to give you my full review. And I've worn them three separate times now for extended periods of time. I was in them all day yesterday because I had a photo shoot and a video shoot to help kind of get some good close-ups of these. Starting off, Lululemon did an amazing job by designing these for women's feet, which it sounds kind of like a no-brainer. Like, yeah, why wouldn't shoes be designed specifically for women's feet or men's feet? But apparently that's not a super common thing. So the fact that they took the time and money to do the research and make sure that these were gonna be as comfortable as possible and actually be good for what they're intended to be good for is amazing. So I think it said they scanned over 1.2 million women's feet to come up with the proper shape structure and everything with these. And that was my first thing when I put them on. First of all, I was nervous about sizing. Sizing wise, they fit incredibly true to size. I'm a size eight in all shoes and they fit perfect. There's not a single spot that digs in on me or rubs the wrong way. This being their first shoe, I thought that was just incredible. The fact that I was wearing them around and already was like, wow, there's nothing happening on my foot that's uncomfortable, which is amazing. Obviously these are running shoes, so they have the tie laces on here, so you can adjust them to however tight you want. The laces are plenty long, so you can knot them. And I'm normally a fan of a sock fit shoe. I haven't worn a shoe like this in honestly quite a while. They do have some other shoes coming, like I mentioned, and I believe one or two of them are more of that like sock fit. So I will review all of them as they come out. I'm very excited about the slides. I'm so excited about all of them, if I'm being honest. I got the green ray color, which I was a little nervous in the beginning because I wasn't sure how it was gonna pair just because I don't have like super bright green items. But if you can see along the back, and this is why I got a lot of the blue silver items and tried to pair it with that. The fact that you have this pastel pink, the blue and the green on there, I actually feel like makes them go with a lot more. I wore these with an all black outfit, looked really cute, all white outfit, super cute. And then pairing them with navy, any kind of pink, really any shade of green. I paired them also with a, the creamy mint, cool racer back, very cute. It, the creamy mint is like a lighter green like this. So I feel like these go with a lot more than you think they will. But in terms of the overall fit, I don't have a single complaint. The one thing, cause I figured I'd get questions about this. I'm not someone who is a huge runner. I'm also not someone who has like running shoes and training shoes and is like very specific about only wearing those shoes at those times. These are a great walking shoe. These will for sure be my walking shoes cause they do offer better arch support and overall are more comfortable than my other shoes. But in terms of training in them, once again, they are gonna come out with a training specific shoe down the road in the summer. 
I will review those, but I wanted to see how these would hold up during a circuit workout where I was on the skill mill runner and also doing some lifting movements just to see if you can lift in them if you're someone who's like me and kind of likes a shoe that's like a one-stop shop. I don't think they have enough of a platform on the back to where it was horrible to lift in them. I think it's very possible. The only real exercise I could notice a difference with these or where I was like, yeah, flatter shoes would work better was when I was doing dumbbell thrusters because you're sitting on a little bit of a platform. I was very impressed by the price point and that is the thing that I'm gonna put the most emphasis on after I heard about it, after I told a lot of you about it on my Closet by Kel account and other Instagram. Everyone was saying like, wow, that's a really great price for good quality running shoes. They're gonna be 148 USD, which is 198 in CAD. So I think that is amazing. Not only is that like comparable to shoes in the market, I actually think it's a little bit less than other shoes in the market given how nice they are. So all in all, I was super impressed. These are not out yet. These launch on March 22nd. They'll be available in stores and online on March 22nd. I'll put all the colorways on the screen so you can see they're not just available in this. They have some more neutral ones. They have beautiful red ones like the Lululemon red, which I think are gonna be uh, something I need to snag, but yeah, I was super impressed mainly by the price point and just how good they feel on my foot. And honestly, just the fact that they fit true to size, I would definitely recommend staying true to size. I think they did such a good job, obviously just designing how they feel on your foot because that's how Lululemon designs items. They design for an intended feel. And so they're actually designed for the activity you're gonna be wearing them for, which once again, it's like, duh, shouldn't they be? Once you try these on, and compared to some of the other running shoes I've tried, which is now why I'm very excited to try the training shoes, it's like, wow, they did such a good job designing these for running and just like how they support your foot and the arch support and the fact that once again, like nothing rubs, at least on my foot it didn't. So I'm interested to see what you guys think once you get them. I really appreciate that they design clothes for how they're gonna feel during those specific activities. And I think they crushed it with these and how fun. That is so cool to see. Love them. Moving on to bottoms to end out this spring try on haul. We have a skirt that is actually brand new to me. I have never tried this before. And I was like, you know what? One, I was gonna try it because a lot of you asked to uh, see me review it. But also I was like, this could look really cute pregnant. <laughs> So we'll see. This is the Court Rival High Rise Skirt Long. I normally don't get the long versions, but once again, with the bump, the extra length, I figured was kind of gonna be a necessity. This is so comfortable. I got a size six. I was a little worried how this band would fit just because big elastic bands like this, sometimes I feel like can cut in if they're not high enough on your waist. It's super comfortable, doesn't cut in anywhere. It has this really cute, like flowy, fit to it. I think this is like a more girly look. I, I love it. I think it's super cute. And then they have the built-in shorts. There's the mesh detailing on the side. And then they have the little non-slip grips on the inside of the shorts. So overall, I thought these were super comfortable. If I played tennis, I would be wearing this every single day. I think it is so comfortable and also still really flattering if you have to like run errands after practice or whatever, I will be wearing this this spring. Absolutely. I'm not a skirt person. I will be wearing this because I thought this was so cute. I'll just pair a little tank top with it. The Swiftly tank top, adorable. So thank you for recommending it. I was very surprised at how much I liked this. I actually like this better than some of the other skirts I've tried from them. And yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked that I have this and now can wear this in the spring. Moving on to the only pair of shorts in this haul, I will have an entire shorts haul uh, later this year, like I do every other year. If you're interested in shorts, I will link the past two years shorts videos down below. I think this year I might try to do a maternity specific one just cause all of the shorts are not gonna fit how they're supposed to fit right now. But 
The ones I wanted to include in here because I was interested, you were interested in them, they're brand new. The Dance Studio High Rise Short in the three and a half inch. This is the one other item that I don't think fit well at all while pregnant. I don't know if they run tighter than other shorts, but especially with the belly right now, I just felt like the waistband was too high to where they just wouldn't be comfortable right now. I'm for sure keeping these for after because I think I will love them. They're the perfect length. They have really deep pockets. And if you've tried any of the Dance Studio bottoms before, there it's that same luxury material, very soft, very breathable and lightweight. And then it has the nice draw cord up here. And the waistband is really comfortable. It's just a little too tight on me right now. So I wouldn't work out in these. There's no built-in underwear or anything, um, but just wearing around the spring and summer, I think these would be awesome. I'm just not gonna be wearing them until I deliver. <laughs> I'm still sticking with size sixes. I've still been snagging shorts, especially some of my favorite shorts and the colors that they've been launching so I can have them for after. I just am kind of limited to what I can wear currently. Last two items up are leggings that I have tried in the past, but a lot of you asked me to try them in a size six because you are also pregnant and curious how they fit with the belly. So the first ones up are the Base Pace High Rise Tight 25 inch. I love the Base Pace Tight because it's the new Lux material. You can see how thin they are at the bottom. They are like that naked sensation through the leg. So they're very low compression through the leg, but they're still a great training and running tight because the top band has that draw cord and it does offer more support throughout the waist. For that reason though, my size fours do not fit right now. They were <laughs> squeezing my belly way too much. So I did try size sixes in these. I was not expecting to like them during pregnancy just because anything with a tight band at the top, I'm just like, no thank you. I want everything to be loose right now. But I wore these all day yesterday and I absolutely loved them. They were not uncomfortable whatsoever. The waistband's high enough to where I can bring it over my belly and going up to the size six helped a ton. They have the little pocket in the back to put your phone or a little key or cards or something when you're running. These ones don't have any side pockets or anything. They're just a very flattering, good, lightweight running tight or training tight. I love the new Lux material throughout the legs once again because it's that naked sensation. I love that always, but I really appreciate that right now. Last but definitely not least, I have the Wonder Train High Rise Tight in the 25 inch in a size six because once again, size fours because of this draw cord on the inside is just not super comfortable on me right now. The draw cord is too tight around my belly. The size six did fit really well in terms of the waistband and going up above my belly, but I feel like just because of the proportions, obviously these are not meant to be maternity clothes. Like I should have started off by saying that. So these are not a maternity pant. When I pulled them up to where I wanted them, I did notice I was getting a little bit of a camel toe. I didn't have any issues with the base paste tights with those or with that. It seems like the waistband's a little bit higher and just the material, like the legs stay in place a little bit better. So just keep that in mind if you're also pregnant. It is their Everlux material, so it's their quickest drying material. Great for running, great for training, great for high impact workouts. Um, they are a little bit thicker than the base pace tights because the base pace is that like new Lux naked sensation. These you definitely have a little bit more compression through the leg, still very comfortable. You could easily wear these around day to day. So yeah, I just wanted to try these because I had a lot of people asking how a size six would fit me. Between the two, I was expecting to like these more and I actually prefer the base pace while pregnant in a size six just because of the overall fit of them. The legs are super comfortable and the way that waistband fit me was a lot better. So although I love the Wonder Trains, they are not going to be a pregnancy pant for me, which is totally fine because once again, they're not intended to be. <laughs> so that is gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below, reach out to me on Instagram. Closet by Kel or Kaylin Yeager. Closet by Kel, I always post the weekly drops anytime I see restocks um, and sizes or colors in certain items. I would definitely recommend following me on there if you're interested in stuff like that. But look forward to March 22nd so you can grab yourself a pair of the Blissfeel 
shoes if you've been wanting to. Once again, true to size. I think they're super comfortable. They're designed for women's feet, which is amazing. They're running shoes. They're gonna be $148 USD. You know you've talked too much when your camera turns off because it's so hot, but basically, these are amazing for the price point, fit true to size. But if you have any questions, comment down below. If you're someone who's looking for just training shoes, those will be coming down the road. So don't feel like you obviously need these. They will have training shoes, but for runners, walkers, or just like a good everyday shoe, I think these are awesome. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, once again, comment down below or message me and I will see you in the next video. Back to vlogs, I'm trying to really get back on my YouTube game. <laughs>